Hello, this is Eric with Bain Group, and thank you for joining us in another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you the check-in, check-out feature for SharePoint document libraries and when you should use this feature. So for the most part, I think we can all agree that having your documents in the cloud provides a great deal of benefits. It allows for teammates to collaborate very seamlessly. It ensures you always have the latest draft and eliminates the need to send files back and forth, reducing the amount of copies per document. However, um, one of the few downsides to having your documents on the cloud is if teammates lack communication, um, they could be unknowingly uh, be overriding each other's work. So if two users are working in the same document and uh, they're writing on the same section of the document, they could be unknowingly overriding each other's work. And this is where the check-in, check-out feature comes in very handy. Let me show you how it works. Hover over your mouse over the item you want to check out. You scroll down to more, and you'll see checkout. Once you've done that, you'll see a red icon pop up. So what does this do? The checkout feature ensures that no other users can edit this item until you've checked it back in. So what this means is that if another user came in and tried to look at this file, they would be able to see it, but they wouldn't be able to make any changes to it. Let me show that for you. Okay. As you can see, I am currently on my Eric Rodriguez account and I'm going to switch accounts just to show you what another user would see. And this is my other user. This is Megan Bowen. So let me show you what Megan would see. I'm going to refresh the page. And as you can see, she sees the same icon, but without the red, it's like a little down arrow. That's a checkout icon. So if Megan wanted to see this file, she can see it, but you'll see she gets a notification up here. This is read only. This presentation is checked out by another user. So if she wanted to edit this file, she wouldn't be able to. No one can edit this file until the original person who checked it out, checks it back in. Let me show you that to you. I'm going to go back to my original Eric profile. And once I've checked this back in, you can leave any comments, um, informing other users of what changes you made while you checked out the document. Check in. Now it's checked in. I'm going to go again as Megan Bowen and try to see that document again. Here we are. That's Megan Bowen. I'm going to refresh the page. Now you'll see that that checkout icon is gone. And if I click on that document, I no longer get that notification and I am able to edit this uh, document freely. So that's how the check-in checkout feature works. Um, you can see how if you're having trouble with users overriding their work, this can be a helpful feature. This can also be very helpful if you plan to travel or go to a place where you know you'll have limited internet access, combining this feature with a sync to desktop feature, um, it ensures that while you're gone, you can check out the items that you're going to work on and no one else will work on those items until you've come back and check those items in. So this ensures that while you're gone, you're the only one working on those items. And if you'd like to know more about the sync to desktop feature, I'll leave a link down below to a video where we walk you through all of the benefits and how to get that set up. And that's it. That's all I've got for you today. Thank you very much.